10. Magnus, you, you, you have quite a lot of chairs in your room, <laughs> we noticed. Uh, uh, you're not going to sell any of them on eBay for your fans at all or give them any away as prizes? No, uh, whenever I am on the rare occasions that I, I do streams, I need the chairs for the idiots in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, David, David has been one of them in the past for sure. Nine. Anyway, this position, I thought I could play for a while with this sort of thing. It's very difficult to actually do something. If I can remove a pair of rooks, then obviously I'm better. But um, uh, I mean, he takes the C file and. Uh, if he waits patiently, I don't see anything that I can do. So um, uh, I guess it's a kind of opening failure today. You want to translate? Uh, well, I, I just have one suggestion. Turn your attention to the Ivanchuk, Nakamura Ivanchuk game. That's going to be a hell of a lot more interesting. <laughs> And I have to ask you, the World Championship match won't have you. Do you think that the value of it goes down without having the World Champion defend and the best player? Uh, yeah, I guess so, but that's not really, that's not really uh, my, my problem. Seven. Magnus, just as you're about to give up one chess crown, you've taken a new one. So my question is, when are you going to stop? Well, I'm gonna stop when somebody stops me. Six. Does the victory here mean anything as far as London is concerned? Well, um, not for me, but I think Fabi needs to win the tournament to, to get to London. Being, being the Grand Chess Tour final, not the World Championship final. <laughs> Your thoughts on that, Fabiano? You need you need to win the event. Well, I think the last few months I've generally won tournaments in which Magnus is playing in. So <laughs> I, I, I meant I didn't mean to to trash talk. I meant to just state something factual. <laughs> On the broadcasting with Judith Polker, uh, she couldn't understand why you were playing so long in the end game. So when did you uh, understand that this was a draw? So, Magnus, I, I think the question for you, you know, why were you playing so, on so long? When did you understand it was a draw? I mean, when did I understand it was a draw? I understood it immediately. <laughs> that doesn't mean you shouldn't play. I'm trying to entice him to play to play H5, and if he does play H5, then I I at least have a target. Uh, but obviously, if he just keeps still and keeps his fortress just waiting for uh, waiting for my king to enter, then there's then there's nothing. But I mean, there's no harm harm in playing and. Uh, um, I, I, I really don't understand the point. Four. I, I didn't really hear. Can I, you speak up a bit? Yeah. Uh, you, you, uh, chess champions, past and present. There's been a, a, a similarity between them that was seen and that a lot of them are geography buffs. And I believe that tag applies to you as well, correct? Um, yeah, I, I think I, I like I like all sorts of um, of trivia, basically. Okay, what's the capital of Myanmar? Uh, it's Rangoon. Very good. No more that, questions. That, that's an easy one. <laughs> Three. Magnus, you. You seem to have some hiccups earlier today. You didn't have really smooth performances. And this game wasn't that smooth either. It looked a little bit unclear. What's your feeling overall as the, the game was transpiring? Okay, I mean, what do you want me to do? So, I mean, I, I take 
I take the piece and then, I mean, of course, he, d he hasn't done anything particularly wrong. Of course, he's not going to be lost. I mean, what do you, what do you want from me? <laughs> I don't want anything. I just want to see just chess getting played. Yeah, but I mean, you're talking about, I mean, that the game wasn't smooth and I, I'm, again, what do you, what do you want me to do? I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, well. I mean, do you want me to to get a huge advantage from from the opening and then to push it all the way? Is that the only way you can win a smooth game? Is that your point? Oh, not at all, Magnus. But certainly the game was tricky enough. Let me get your thoughts on how you've yeah, done I, so I, I ju far. I'm just feeling that the the whole, you know, the whole the way you're approaching it is trying to belittle the whole thing. That's my only issue. My apologies, Magnus. We definitely have respect for you as a world champion. So. Don't take it any offense to what we're trying to say. We're just trying to do commentary. You've got this out of the way now. It's time for Blitz. Your thoughts on your rest of the tournament? Hopeful that I can continue to, um, to yeah, to win not so smooth games. Man. Two. So the question is about uh, Hikaru Nakamura because he, one day he said that. Uh, he is not concerning himself as the best player all over the world, but he thinks that he is the best uh, at the bullet. Uh, what do you think about this opinion, Magnus Carlsen? Is this for me? Yes. <laughs> uh, I think we're playing uh, rapid and blitz here, um, over the board, not bullet online, so I don't think it's very, very relevant. Um, but having said that, uh, Hikaru is obviously a great rapid and blitz player, uh, and uh, he has uh, gotten a lot of uh, silver and bronze medals in, in World Rapid and Blitz Championships, so he's very strong. <laughs> One player from history that um, you followed in the past? Uh, well, I have nothing too much to add. Uh, I'm not really. Uh, the person to uh, to have idols. Uh, I admire what people can do, not necessarily the people them, themselves. Keeping that in mind, I would say my favorite player from the past is probably myself, like three, four years ago. <laughs>